Hi guys, welcome to the Geography Academy. By the end of this video, you should understand the structure of Paper 1 and Paper 2 of the CAIE AS Geography course. You should be able to locate the exam papers online and use the course codes to help you find the right ones. Okay, so if you want to pause this video at any time and follow along, that would be really beneficial. So if you type in www.cambridgeinternational.org, you should come to this main page and then go all the way down here to Cambridge International AS and A Levels. So there you should get the choice to go to subjects and within subjects, we're obviously looking for geography. So the geography course code is 9696 and this should be in all the documents, past papers, marking schemes and inserts. Always look for that 9696. Now, I went to past papers and examiner reports and specimen papers. So let's have a quick look through. You can see here there's lots of PDF documents going down here. And let me explain what all of these mean. So you can see here, for instance, in 2018, there was a paper one, uh, there was a paper two, a paper three, and a paper four. For AS, you just have to worry about paper one and paper two. So this one here shows um, that there is a question paper in 2017. Uh, this was in June. So you could get these exam questions in June, which is the summer exam time. And then you can get it in October, November, which is the winter exam time. It gives you the year that it came out and it tells you that it's a question paper. Underneath it, it has a marking scheme, which will give you the answers or the guides that examiners use to correct these papers. Then underneath that has the insert. So the insert is needed for both papers because it contains pictures and graphs that's gonna really help you answer those questions. So you've got to directly relate to them. So every time you click and open one paper, you wanna uh, open the insert too. So those are the three main papers. The so then the last thing you'll notice is the one one that's written beside here. So this is actually um, not 11, it's paper one and it's version one. So you might see paper one version three written one three or paper one version two written one two. The main thing is that if the paper one says one one, then you want to match that up with the marking scheme one one. So here everything is bunched together, but on other websites, you just want to be aware of that. Let's scroll down the page here and go to the 2020 specimen paper one and it's insert. Okay. So the best thing to do is to right click them, open a new tab, which I've got to open up here. So you should see the paper like this. Uh, this is paper one and paper one is all about physical geography. Paper two is all about human geography. So going over a couple of basics, each paper is an hour and 30 minutes and it's separated into two sections, section A and section B. In section A, you must answer all of the questions. In section B, you must answer one of the questions. So you've got a choice of one out of three. Let's have a quick look at section A questions. So as you'll see, um, it says you have to answer all the questions and each section is worth 10 marks. So you've got three questions, each are worth 10 marks in total. So that adds up to 30 marks in section one. So let's have a look at a few questions here. Let's start off with a one mark question. What kind of things are they looking for with a one mark question? So here it says, uh, using figure 2.1, identify the location of maximum temperature. So if you go to your insert and go to question 2A part one, which I'm sure you've done it loads before, uh, you can come here and find out that the area that has maximum temperature is the CBD. So again, a one mark response, um, it's based off skills, being able to utilize this information on graphs or on pictures or yeah, more graphs as well. So using these three, then um, you'll be able to answer some of the shorter questions. Okay. So we can see here that one mark questions uh, need reference to 2.1. Um, with B, it says using reference, uh, describe the relationship between land use and temperature shown. So again, you can use the, the things that are available here, the information such as um, the temperatures and the area names. And you can see the trends that are here and describe those using specific temperatures and generally talk about things like east to west as well in your answer. So these are straightforward, but do require a lot of practice and also just a lot of general knowledge of the subject. 
below then uh, for higher marks so that would get you maybe three marks four marks or even your little one mark questions uh, below then usually you'll get a question about ex explanations this one explain why the night time temperatures vary across urban areas such as the one shown in figure 2.0 it's not asking you to refer directly to the source anymore but this one kind of relies more on your own knowledge of the subject so the higher mark questions such as the five mark questions usually rely heavily on you having knowledge of the topic this is why each section has to be studied equally re realistically to do well in the exam so at this point i would recommend that you just take a break uh, pause the video have a read through these questions and just become a little bit more familiar with them um, i think you'll find that although the topics you might not have studied um, there's not too much to answer in these questions so moving on to section B, here you have to answer one question out of the three possible questions, four, five, and six. Now they come down to the three sections that's in this uh, course, the hydrology and fluvial geomorphology, atmosphere and weather, and rocks and we weathering. Remembering that paper one is purely a physical paper. So as you can see, it increases in value on the way down. So the first one might be a brief description question or you might get a definition question, so it's very important to pick up those easy marks. Afterwards, you'll generally get a description of some sort of process or a quick explanation of why something's happening. After that, then you've got your eight mark question, which you'll find in most exam papers and past papers. And these ones need a little bit more detail. And here you see a describe and explain, a describe and explain. Um, and explain. So again, that's looking at some of the main uh, interactions between the physical processes, generally speaking, and it does require a lot of practice and exam technique, like they all do, really. You've got to get used to each individual type of question and master that. So the C part question then is the one that really scares people because this is a 15 mark essay. Now, you're given a question, um, sometimes in the form of a statement, such as here. Uh, global warming is caused as much by individual people as by large organizations. With the aid of examples, how far do you agree? So usually there is some sort of argument in these essays that give you the opportunity to state both sides of the argument and to show the extent of your knowledge. So actually, once you get started, there is an absolute... Um, there's absolutely loads of different techniques to go about these essays but once you've mastered your first couple of essays they actually get much much easier so focus on that like say your first topic might be uh, that you study is hydrology and fluvial geomorphology and you want to practice these 15 mark questions a lot at the beginning to get really strong uh, what you'll notice as well as it says with the aid of examples here and the aid of examples here um, with the aid of examples. So as you can imagine, having examples is really, really important in these questions. And of course, that comes down to how much depth and breadth do you have in terms of case studies. Incredibly important to these 15 mark questions, and they'll really help you as you continue to study geography too. So that's a quick overview of the section B of this paper. And um, section A, Paper two is about human geography, but it's structured in the exact same way, just about different topics, the other half of the course. So just two more things I wanted to show you before we go. Uh, one is AS level um, past paper questions on Papa Cambridge. Again, there's more kind of, um, there's more options here. So going into A level subjects, you can head down to geography. Now remember, this is course 9696, but this course has changed every couple of years. So what you might find in 2005 won't necessarily be the same type of questions you'll get asked in 2020. So just be really aware of that. But again, it works the same. You can go through the exam papers, look in there, scroll through, get the marking schemes or the inserts or the question papers there. Okay, same idea as Cambridge, just more options. These websites as well, sometimes they stay around for a long time, sometimes they don't. So it's best maybe to download the page as a PDF like that and then work on it from there. The last thing I want to show you guys today is our website, the Geography Academy. So geographyacademy.com and you'll see we got the CAIE A-level courses. Um, what we offer is a bunch of free stuff 
um, lots of specific things about the course, online tutorial, master classes, and of course our exam master class, which is the really popular one. So once you start studying your course this year, if you need some extra help or you just really want to master those questions early on in the year, uh, get in contact. You can also comment below this video and ask any more questions or give me some ideas for future videos.